made this uh, metal thing here to hold my propane tank on my truck. I learned more than I got out of the project, but now that I made it, I could make it again a lot faster and that's what I want to share with you five really quick things I learned about metal cutting on the Crossfire Pro Plasma Cutter. I've had it for a year now so I'm also going to share some of my thoughts about that. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is using old metal because I don't want you to die. Oh I'm Ryan I've been hacking things my whole life. Let's go take a look at the plasma cutter area and where and why I keep it where it is. The reason why that I want to keep my plasma cutter right over here is it's right next to the door. I have three different fans that push all of whatever I'm about to be shooting out, whether or not it's just steam from the water or if it is actually something that I don't want to breathe in. So I have a little button, I have a push remote that I keep right here, and then when I press number three, it turns on three different fans. And those three different fans is I can take all the exhaust outside. It is dark in here. There is a lot of metal in scrap yards, and there's a lot of metal out there. Metal the is like gold right now. Anything heavy is worth a lot of money. So I made this out of an old Dell server cart. And I just scratched away enough so that I could get that contact, that ground wire on, on clip onto my plasma cutter. So in the software, once you get all your metal done, make sure your table is completely flat. Your surface has to be level. It will build up over time. You won't experience this with a brand new table, but you need to understand as you use it, I've had it for a year now, you need to do general maintenance and make sure that your table is completely level. Just take your, your, your tool head all the way down and go all the way left and right and back and make sure it doesn't scrape. If you have a laser cutter, cut your stuff before you do it with metal. Here's the deal, metal, like I said, is very, very valuable. Whatever you can do to make sure all of your cuts are spot on the first time, that is absolutely critical. It's probably the best part of this video, and if you already know that and you're already a veteran, fine, but if you're brand new, if you're brand new and you have not used it a lot and you've only just got it or you just ordered it, it's an awesome machine, but Understand, just because you can do something doesn't mean that you can do it, should do it quickly. Make sure that you take the time and get everything right. The next thing is make sure on every material I have a cheat sheet down below that has all of the settings for every metal that you can do. It's really important that you test out a test circle before you cut anything. If you don't get your settings right at the beginning, you're going to have a tremendous amount of post work done. So the, basically the plasma is melting the metal. So what can happen when that goes down is that the metal can actually drip down the side. So that can happen sort of not so bad where you could just chip it away and it can happen severely where it's actually melted and you have this tough thing. The way that you solve that is figure out all of your settings in that little test circle. So you want to eliminate the dross, that little tiny edge that happens where it cuts through. You want to do that in your test circle. So when you're bending something like this, think about how you're going to bend it. Sometimes sub certain designs are going to be in the way. So it's better that you weld it afterwards and think about your folding plan because the brake only can do so much. Sometimes it gets in the way. So I break this, break this, I have one, two, three, four brakes in this design right here. But sometimes you come up with something where it's another dimension, like these little tabs down here at the bottom it's probably best that you went ahead and welded that. But I love that machine and, and, and you know, my Brian said that it was very, very dirty. It is if you cut right near the edge, but man, it's just rock solid.